Well, I've been called a hack many times in my lifetime, so I figured it's time to try out some putting hacks. Let's get to it. Spin it. Hey DMD family, welcome back to another Discs MD video. Bunky here, and we're gonna get to some putting again today. I'm gonna mix it up with my videos. I'm gonna interlace some backhand, some putting, some forehand. So today, we're gonna do some putting. Before I get started, some admin stuff. Check out the cool new drip. This is uh, merchandise from Salty Unicorns Disc Golf Apparel. Ryan Bowling has it going on over there. There's a link in the description below where you can get you some awesome disc golf apparel merchandise salty unicorn i have like four of these now they're extremely comfortable and uh the work that they do the designs that they do over there are epic uh, i highly recommend them so go over and uh, check out salty unicorns disc golf apparel uh, the other thing that i want to bring up is there is a growing community of content creators in the power disc golf academy and i just want to shout out a few of them uh, I know I'm going to miss some, so I'll shout out them throughout my, my videos moving forward in the future, and I'll link them down in the description below as well. So if you can't get enough disc golf content like me, uh, there's plenty to be had, and these people are creating some cool stuff, so go out and check them out. So Maya Ringgold, uh, she is part of our power team at the Power Disc Golf Academy. She's doing some awesome stuff over on her channel, her and her husband, Chase. So check them out. My buddy Daryl Wood, he's almost to 1,000 subscribers. So please head over to Simply, uh, Simply Incredible Disc Golf. And uh, my dog's getting excited right now. Uh, and check out Daryl uh, and his companions over there. Uh, Nick Carroll, uh, also a Power Disc Golf Academy member who's doing some cool stuff over at Nick Carroll Disc Golf. Uh, they do a lot of uh, courses. He's doing some disc reviews over there as well. Uh, Mike Sutton is just now getting into the game with Disc Dudes. They just started, so go over and check them out as well. Uh, my, brand, my, my buddy Brandon, uh, from, of course, from Inside the Circle. Um, he's, you know, he's been hit, and miss, hit or miss lately, but I have a feeling he's going to start getting back into things, so go over and check him out as well. Again, all of them are going to be linked in the description below. Please go support them, uh, and uh, let's get the Power Disc Golf Academy name out there. Uh, so let's get on to this. So uh, my buddy Kevin over at Putting Confidently and, and Robbie C. just recently both did putting hacks videos. I'm going to try to combine both of those into one video today, uh, and, and let's see how it goes. So first, let's tell you what I'm going to do. So uh, Kevin over at Putting Confidently did the putting hack where it was sort of a, mo a motion hack that he had uh, where he goes, where he lifts up a little bit. Right, and I can't remember where he saw this, but I actually saw this with Albert Tom in the DDO. If you go watch, I think it's the second round coverage where where uh, uh, he's in that one. I, I see this in his putting style. He brings it back and then he lifts it up a little bit and 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 throws it, you know, from more from his chest, uh, and it gets a, I think a little more spin. So I'm going to incorporate that hack that 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 putting confidently brought out, and then. Um, Robbie C's last video, and I'm sure you've all seen Robbie C's last video, where he talks about using different discs when you get farther from the basket. Both of these are hacks from farther distance, just to put that out there. Uh, so we're going to do that as well. So here's what I'm going to do. I have four of my normal Benny putters, okay? Uh, and what I'm going to do is do two of them with my normal putting routine, my po normal putting delivery. I'm going to do two of them with the putting confidently hack, okay? And then I have two lid type putters, both Dillos, different plastic, but both Dillos. They're, they're the Lone Star lid. And then I'm going to, uh, and I know Robbie C used mid ranges, but I really don't feel comfortable putting with mid ranges. So I have two really glidey approach discs, the Artemis and the BB6, both four speeds, but both I feel are more glidey than my typical, you know, three or two speed, three speed putters here. So I'm going to try those as my mid ranges. They're more 
approach discs, but you know, they could be considered mid-ranges. It depends on the manufacturer you talk to. So, so that's what I'm going to do, right? Two lids, two mids, uh, and then I'm going to do one with the putting confidently hack and then, or so two, two with the putting confidently hack and then two normal. And let's see, you know, how many of each that I sink. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to start out at 30 feet. I'm going to get sort of a baseline as to maybe 20 feet. We'll see. Uh, as to what I can do with all these. And then like Robbie C say, see, test out and see how my putting is doing for today. And then I'm going to go mid circle two. I'm not going to do full range 60 feet. I'm going to go mid circle two. So what is that? 40 uh, 15, 16 plus 33. I have to do math on the spot here, people. That's, uh, 49 feet. Let's go. Let's make it 50 feet. So I'll go to 50 feet and I'll do two rounds of each and let's see the results. So here we go. Get to the putting hacks for mid circle two putting. All right. We're here at 25 feet. This is where we'll start just to get a benchmark. It's getting windier. I have a front moving in from a system that's coming in tomorrow for rain. Uh, so tailwind. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, again, 25 feet. You have my, I have my champ cap solo on, but I've turned it around because I think once I get to the middle of circle two, it's going to be kind of a limiting factor. I mean, I know Robbie used the marksman and all, but I'm not as good as Robbie. So, okay. So first, uh, my normal putters with my more normal putting delivery. Yeah. All right, now normal putters with the putting confidently putting hack. Okay, now my lids. Ooh, tailwind. Now my mid ranges. Okay. I'm gonna do another round of that just to get the benchmark set and then we'll move into the middle circle too. All right, normal putters, normal putting stance first and I'll try to use the same ones for the same, but we'll, we'll see. Okay, here we go. Now the putting confidently hack. Now my lids, sorry, I have these mixed up. Good catch. Now my mids. Almost a good catch there. Okay. So now you see we have our benchmark and it should be maybe up over here um, of what we're doing. How we're doing so now i'll move back to middle circle two and see how we do all right here we are at 45 feet tailwind's not gonna let me do 50 feet <laughs> uh 45 feet is gonna be tough i think we'll see how it goes um two rounds each we're gonna count metal hits as well as makes because i think from 45 feet if i'm hitting metal that's a success so again not as good as robbie c all right 45 feet normal putters normal putting stroke Ooh, long. Okay. All right, that's metal hit for normal. All right, now putting confidently hack. Oh. Oh, that was that was the distance terrible line. Lids. Now mids. All right, we'll count that. Metal hit. All right, round number two, normal putting stroke, normal putters. Putting confidently hack. Lids.
mids. All right, there you have it. We had one metal hit and one make for the normal putters, normal putting strokes. We had one metal hit, one make for the putting confidently hack. We had one make for the lids and then two metal hits with the mids. So what did we learn from this? There is no easy button for putting. Uh, and what works for me may not work for you. Like the lids, I, they just did not feel comfortable with my hand. I know I made one, but the other three were complete misses. Um, you need to figure out what works for you uh, and at the distance that works for you. So if you need to change your putting style a little bit from circle two, I would do it. Like keep your same putting style from inside circle one, but if you need to change for outside in circle two, do it. If you need to change the discs, play around with it. Get the lids, get the, get the mids, get the, use the, you know, uh, putting confidently stroke. Um, see what feels comfortable for you. Putting is very subjective. Uh, I feel, and I think, I, I think everybody else feels that way too. It's not objective. It's very subjective. So, I mean, that's what I learned from this. And that's what I learned from watching Robbie C. You need to figure out for yourself what works for you and what doesn't work for you. And then practice what works for you. Again, in disc golf in general, no easy button. Getting better requires work and a lot of it. So if you want to get good at this game, get out there and get practicing. So I hope this helped. I hope it gave you a little insight as to, you know, what needs to be done. And uh, I hope you can get out there and get it done. I'm here for you. Let's, let's continue on this journey together. Thanks for coming along. Until next time, enjoy the journey. Here's your verse of the day.